Hey everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to find low risk, high reward cryptocurrency investment opportunities. Now, this is something that I went over a little bit in the previous video. So if in case you haven't watched that, I'm going to leave a link up here so you can just check it out. But in the previous video, I went over a little bit and I mentioned that we talked a lot more, you know, in, in detail about these things inside the course. I'm going to leave a link to the course in that description. But and what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go over a little bit more. I'm going to actually give you a little more details on this and explain exactly how you can find low risk, high reward cryptocurrency opportunities. Now, the thing is, one of the one of the best one of the best ways to invest in cryptocurrencies, you know, is not just to invest in Bitcoin, but also invest in altcoins. So these are coins that are not Bitcoin, like anything beside Bitcoin pretty much okay now if you find these opportunities the ones that the, the, the coins that have a good potential to grow and you, let's say when and when these coins come out like the IC when they have the ICOs they have they come they they're they're gonna cost like less than a dollar like cents maybe okay and you can invest a lot of money and you can just let it stay for a while and then sell it maybe a year later now it's that's this seems like a simple concept right but the thing is you need to um, be able to find out what coin has the potential because there are thousands of coins uh, I actually showed this in the previous video too there are over 1300 different cryptocurrency coins right now that are listed in a coin market cap I'm sure there are more uh, so you want to find the good ones you know because there, and there's the thing another thing is that there's a lot of scam going on so you want to be careful and you want to make sure you invest your money in something that has a good potential and also can make you money okay so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to teach you what do I look for uh, when I'm trying to find a new uh, when, I, when I'm trying to find an altcoin to invest my money in so that's I'm going to just explain a couple of things that I look for obviously but again we're, we're going to talk more about this inside my course I'm going to leave a link in the description you're going to you're going to be able to find everything but in this case for this video I'm going to talk about four because I don't want to make this video too long okay and another thing before we start is that uh, this is just a disclaimer that I put in on every video that I talked about when I talk about cryptocurrencies guys this is your money make sure to invest your money smartly and uh, don't uh, invest the money that you're not willing to lose so don't invest the money that you need and yeah so just be ready to lose it obviously they don't it doesn't happen much you know people don't lose money in this market but I'm just just putting it out there you know don't invest the money that you need okay very important all right so let's get started let's talk about the things that I look for a couple of them when I'm trying to find a good investment opportunity to invest in altcoins you know because the thing with altcoins is that they're cheap so you don't invest too much money like right now a bitcoin is actually let me tell you how much it costs a bitcoin is about 14,000 it's going up and down right now you know uh, yesterday was 11,000 you know uh, two like four days four days ago it was about 19,000 so it just goes up and down so and the thing with and the problem with bitcoin is that if you're trying to make some good money off of it um because the price itself is just so high that it's it's not possible unless you invest over twenty thousand dollars in it and i know a lot of you are new to this and you don't want to invest twenty twenty thousand dollars so you need to look into smaller cryptocurrencies and there there is a lot of potential in smaller cryptocurrencies and you can make a lot of money if you find the right ones okay so that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So, and the thing about cryptocurrencies, as I explained, that are they're just so cheap that you don't have to have a ton of money to invest in. You know, you, for example, let me show you a couple of them. So, for example, this one, IOTA, is three dollars and sixty cents. Dash, not that one. You know, like eight, eight cent, eight dollars. You know, fifty-seven dollars, fifty-nine dollars. So you see, these are cheaper ones. So yeah. So let's go over things that I look for and when I'm trying to find a good investment strategy. Okay, so let's choose a, choose one. For example, let's choose. Um, actually, let me just close my video here. Okay, so uh, let's see Stellar. So let's take a look at this one. Let's. So the thing is, first of all, you want to go to the website called Coin Market Cap. Okay, so this is the website that I go. This is the website that every um, cryptocurrency is listed. So you can just learn more about them. So you find one that you think looks good. I mean, like obviously you got to do a lot of research, and this is something you have to do a lot of research on. Okay, spend days actually to research the team and everything. And I'm going to talk about what to actually research on. But so yeah, so spend more time. Don't just make your decision in ten minutes. 
So the first thing is, the first thing I look for is, does it solve a problem? Now this is really, really important because, for example, one of the reasons that Bitcoin is really famous besides being the first cryptocurrency is that it solves a problem that, and that is transferring money anonymously between people without having to, you know, go, without having to go through a bank or anything like that. So that's, that's the problem that Bitcoin solved. Okay. Now, if you want to find a new one, obviously, if you want to invest in another, in another currency or cryptocurrency, you want to make sure that you invest in one that is solving a problem. So let's take a look at this. So when you click on this, the one that you think you want to invest in, you, obviously, we're just checking them out. So it tells you, it gives you a lot of information, the price, the latest price, obviously, and this is the price of the Bitcoin, okay, the market cap, and the volume, that's how much it was traded in the last 24 hours, circulating supply, and the total supply. Okay, so the circulating supply means that how many, uh, how many actually have, how many, how many units are out there right now? How many units of Stellar are out there right now? And how many, it, and that's, that's the total supply. How many actually is going to be out there for us? So the thing is, Bitcoin has a max amount of 21 million supply. And this one is 103 billion. So, so I see this is a difference. Now we're going to talk about that. I, so let's take a look at the website see if uh, this is actually a good cryptocurrency so um so the, again this is the, this one the, the goal is obviously move money across borders quickly um fraction of penny so it's almost like a bitcoin let's see if we can find anything else let's see yeah, I'm just doing research to see does if does if it solves a problem. Now another thing is most of these all altcoins are doing the same thing as Bitcoin. Just um, they're using the same same strategy, basically transferring money between people and you know uh, a bit between people anonymously. That's the point, right? That's the whole thing. So that's something if you want to if you want to invest in a market like that. You want to make sure that that at least the market has a volume because again, so Stellar basically it has the same it does the same thing that Bitcoin does. So there's nothing new about it, right? So if you want if you, there's nothing new about it, you want to make sure that you're careful uh, with the money you invest in because sometimes it just doesn't turn out that well. Okay. So another thing I check out is the uh, chart. So how it's growing. So let's take a look at last month for example. So I see the price is going up, so it's not that bad. Yeah, so that's just another thing to look at. So let's take a look at three months. So the price is going up, so that's a good thing. So it doesn't it hasn't it hadn't had any bad things going on for it. So that's that. So next thing I usually check is the team. Okay, now obviously I usually just spend more time reading about it. Another thing you can do is you can read the white paper. Okay, now you can always, you always, you can, you can just find it on their website somewhere. If just if you just search it, um, you're, you're gonna be able to find it. Let me actually see if I can just find it real quick. Let's see documentation. Okay, again, I just gotta look for it, but you, and something you, you can something that helps you to understand the uh, currency better is the white paper. So just make sure to read the white paper. Okay, so that's that. Next thing I always look for is the team. Okay, so you want to see what's the team. Does it have a good team? So let's go to good developers here, and um, actually that's not the right place. We were just here. Let's see. So you want to find the their developers. You want to see who are they, what they do. You know, are they reliable people and stuff like that. So you want to see if is it if this is backed by real people or not. So uh, let's see. Um, GitHub people. Okay, so it just gives you a little bit of. Uh, information but it doesn't give you enough 
So if I was going to invest in this, I wouldn't at this point at least because it's not really and telling me who's the team and who's behind it and I just don't feel comfortable doing that. So again, you want to see who's behind it. You want to see the developers, you know, you want to see, you want to follow them and all this, all that stuff to see if they're real and if they're actually reliable people. The next thing is the community. And this is like the most important thing I've mentioned in the previous video too, is the community. You want to see if it does have a good community, okay? And this is something we talk about extensively inside my course. So I'm going to leave a link in the description. Check it out. But uh, let's see, for example, let's check out their Twitter. And see how many people are following. 77,000. So that's not bad. Uh, let's take a look at the pictures. Okay. Let's go back here. Let's see if we can find anything else. GitHub, we actually revisited that. It wasn't anything, you know, nothing crazy going on on GitHub. But the thing is, uh, something I always look for is um, the Reddit. So the Reddit is the most important social media um, profile that you want to find in every single uh, cryptocurrency that you invest in, okay? So let's see if you can find Reddit. So there you go. They have Reddit. Let's take a look at it, see how many people are there. And let's see. The last post was seven hours ago. I mean, two hours ago. So yeah. It's fairly active. It's not, as the 20,000 readers, it's not insanely big, but it's okay. It does the job. So if there is a, a cryptocurrency that has an active community and big community and people are active, people are just keep posting about it, talking about it, that's a good thing. And that's a good thing. It means that people actually have faith in it. Because as I've mentioned before, a cryptocurrency is as good as its community. So if it does have a good community, means that it's really good and it has a lot of potential. If it doesn't, means that it's just not there yet at least, okay? So just keep that in mind. And the last thing I want to talk about, which is something that we actually saw, and that is how the token is structured, okay? So let's go back to the coin market cap. And let's go find this thing. So the way, uh, the way um, token is structured tells a lot about the uh, cryptocurrency, okay? So for example, if there's a total limit or max supply, basically, okay, it means that there is going to be a price spike. That means that the price is going to go up over the time, okay? Now, I'm not sure this one actually has a max supply. Let me show you one with the max supply, for example. Bitcoin, that's the most famous cryptocurrency, right? It has a max supply of 21 million. That's just all of it, max. That means that it doesn't go over 21 million. Now, it, I think I'm not 100% sure about this. That again, that's one of the that's one of the reasons that you gotta read their website and white paper so you learn more about these things. But actually, let me just tell you why I'm I'm talking about this. So if there's a max supply, it means that actually the Bitcoin or um, the, the cryptocurrency ha is going to go up over the time. Okay, if there's a max supply, it means that it's going to go over the time. So it's it's something you should definitely invest in. But if it doesn't, that means that it's going to plus the price is going to fluctuate a lot. So this one, I'm not sure. I got to read the white paper to see if it does have a max supply because it says total supply, but not max. So I have a feeling this is one of those things that they actually release once in a while or they release yearly based on inflation and all that stuff. So I'm not 100% sure. But it, if it says max supply here, it means that there's a max supply. So for example, let me show you another one. That's And this, that's, this, is, this is really important because it, it, it affects the pricing. Okay, so for example, this is Litecoin and the max supply to Litecoin is 84 million, about four times more than um, Bitcoin. So this is the max supply. So if it doesn't have a max supply, it probably means that it, they actually release it once in a while, once a year probably, like Ethereum. They release based on the, um, it re actually it doesn't even have a uh, max, re Ethereum it just there is, they release based on the inflation every year. So, um, so yeah. 
So that's another important thing. Okay, so just let's just go over them real quick, guys. The first thing you want to look into is does it solve a problem? The second thing is does it have a good team behind it? You want to research, research all of these things. Third is does it have a good community? Make sure they have a Reddit. Make sure people are active on the Reddit. And the fourth thing is how the token is structured. If it has a max supply, it means that it's going to go up over the time. So it's going to be a good uh, going to be a good investment if. Um, they have everything else checks out, you know, like if they have a good team, if it does, it does solve a problem or not, and all that stuff. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Let me just bring up my video. All right, so guys, let me know if you have any questions. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and also if you want to learn more, if you want to see how I do my trading, how I make money off of cryptocurrencies, how I do day trading to make money off of it, and you don't need any experience to actually make off of money off of it, but and there's a lot more I just had I just in this video I just talked about four things that I look for but there's a lot more when it comes to finding good opportunities to make money off of cryptocurrencies so there's a lot more and we're going to talk about them we're going to talk about all of them in detail inside my course so I'm going to leave a link in the description that's going to take you to my course make sure to check it out and thank you so much for watching this video I'll see you in the next one